right, guys, this is one of those locks I bought from the warehouse. I guess he was uh, changing out locks. These are the old ones. This is a pretty old, even though it says Greco on the front of there. I have not called that phone number. If, if you do, let me know who that is or even if they're still in business. Anyway, it's an American lock. It is called a puck lock. And kind of looks like a replaceable core, but that's pretty much what they all look like. This one just happens to be exposed. These are pretty difficult to pick because they're... Let me show you how this works. You put that in there, turn the key 90 degrees, and then you pull the entire lock out. This one is held in by, it's either a steel pin or an Allen screw that goes in that hole. This one has still got the original epoxy on there to seal it. So I'm not going to be gutting this when we get done. It is not a challenge lock, no reason to do that. It is, however, a six pinner. Anyway, you pull this out, the locking bar comes out, and then you pull this away from the hasp. Pretty cool lock. Well thought out and very difficult to get through because this is very heavy, all solid steel. You literally have to pick it and that's what we're going to do. This is an older one and it has the original six pin uh, lock in it and there's all six of them right there. This one, because of the age, has probably got all kind of goop. I have not picked it, but the only thing I did do was squirt a little WD-40 in there. Try to loosen up some, you know, probably 30 years worth of gunk inside of there. But let's see if we can pick it. All right, I will use top of the keyway. It is, after all, just an American core. And I'm going to work from the bottom of the keyway with this medium hook. And there's plenty of room there. There are indeed six of them in there. And the WD-40 really did loosen this thing up. It was pretty gummed up in there. I've been, I squirted it actually last night and I let it sit overnight. All right, let's try it. All right, we know that this is full of serrated pins. There's probably one serrated, I'm sorry, one standard and five serrated. That's generally how they came from the factory. And the, the older ones are a little harder to pick. They're, I don't know if there's tighter tolerances. I got light tension, I'm looking for a binding pin. Very light tension. And let me see if that is either on pin one or I'm on the tension wrench. I'm not really sure. There, it's pin one. I got a, got a light click out of it. I'm not going to overdo it, though. Let me start in the back and see if we got another binder. I think I got a binder on five. Oh, there we go. Might have overset him there. There. I'm on three. He's a binder. Good single click. We're on the right path. I have no fault set, but I wouldn't expect one uh, with serrated pins. I heard something fall. Very light tension, as I said. I'm on pin one again. He's binding. Or I'm picking my tension wrench. Get up there. Yeah, I got to click on a very slight turn on the core. Not what I'd call a fault set, though. I just touched six again, and I got a very slight click on him. That was five. I think that was six. It was inadvertent. That was three. I'm on two. I'm getting a slight feedback. I got a very slight turn on the core. Try one. I'm on two. Very slight feedback. Checking one. He's good. Again, I'm on two. Very slight feedback. Heard something drop. Let 
And there we go. Okay, we got that thing picked. These older ones, I gotta say, when, when it's old and kind of gummed up, maybe got some wear in there, it's not quite as crisp of feedback as what you would get from, say, a brand new lock. So these older ones can be quite a challenge. As I said, it's nothing special in here. It is completely stock from the factory, steel sealed, so I don't want to ruin it. I know there are collectors out there. I know several of you guys do collect these. I'm going to go ahead and just uh, leave it intact and send it out. Got it picked? Check it off. It's done. Anyway, fellas, thanks for your time. Stay safe. Stay legal.